Hello and welcome to our video on advanced Windows 11 registry tricks for professionals. In this video, I will walk you through to some powerful tweaks to boost your Windows 11 performance, enhance security, and customize the user interface. These tips are perfect for IT admins and power users looking to make the most out of Windows 11. So let's get started. So before we start making any tweaks, it is essential to back up the Windows registry to ensure that you can restore it in case something goes wrong. Here's how to do that. Like right click on the start and you can also use the Windows shortcut key. So let me show you how you're going to use the shortcut key. And when I use the on-screen keyboard, the purpose of this to record the key in the video. So you're going to type, press the window key and the R key, and it will open this run command. And here you're going to type registry, R-E-G, edit, then press enter. And first it needs the confirmation to open it. And here, what we are going to do, that we're going to back up this current registry settings. So let's go to the file and click to export. And you can select any destination to export this file. So documents, it's OK. The documents folder is OK to save your registry. Now let's type any name, REG, add it default and press save and let's wait for this process to be completed now let's verify on the documents folder whether the registry backup has been made and here is the file that you have made so the registry backup has been done and now let's move towards the tweak so let's start with the tweak to reduce the startup delay for apps which can make windows boot faster now to achieve this let me resize this window and to achieve this you're going to go with the h key local machine this one then expand the software then locate the microsoft from here there it is the microsoft then the windows let's scroll down and go to the W and here's the windows and here we need to find out the current version so let me make things more visible and clear in this video okay now here you need to find the current version and expand it and here you need to locate the Explorer which is there and here on the explorer let's find out the serialize it should be there no problem if you won't find the serialize so let's click to the explorer one more time and here let's create the new key so let's right click on the on the key section and select the new key and name it as serialize serial lies like that and once you create this new key name serialize then right click on the middle pane and go to the new and create a new d word that is 32 bit value and name it as startup delay I capital and small m sec. So let's verify the spelling is startup delay in milliseconds and press enter. And now set the value of this newly created D word to the zero, which is by default already set. And this tweak disabled the startup delay for apps at making system boot faster. And now let's move to the tweak two, which is increase network speed. And 
let's tweak the registry to improve your network performance by increasing the TCP acknowledgement frequency. And to achieve that, let's go again to the local machine, but we need to collapse these, you know, Microsoft and Windows options. And let's start from here. So here it says that HP local machine is already expanded and to increase the network speed we should expand the system and here let's locate the current controller set which is this one and then expand the services and here you need to locate the TCP IP which must be down below if you follow the alphabetic order and there it should be visible okay so there it is TCP IP and expand it then you have the parameters now click to the parameter and here on this parameter section where we are going to create the new D word of 32 bit value and we're going to name it as TCP ACK frequency and press enter and first verify the spelling TCP ACK frequency yeah it's correct and set it value to 1 then click OK and this tweak reduces the network latency improving the speed of data transfer and then let's do another tweak and that does what it enhance the security and disable remote assistance so let's disable the remote assistance to improve security on your system but right now we're not going to do that because we are already taking the remote session of this windows 11 machine and that will stop this session and further for the security enhancement we can add an extra layer of security so we can enable secure sign-in which requires user to press Control alt delete before signing now to enable this let's collapse this already open previously open registry let's go to the top and collapse it and this time we are again spending the software and then we will be locating the Microsoft from here software Microsoft it should be there now here we have expanded the Microsoft and then we're going to locate the Windows again and here we need to find out the current version let's collapse the Explorer because it's already taking too much space here and here and one more thing if you're enabled to locate the registry key so all you need to do is to copy the registry path from any website or google wherever you are following the steps and paste the link on the registry bar and it will directly navigate you to that exact registry now here on the system we are going to create a D word. So let's right click to the new and select the D word 32 bit value. And here we are going to name it as disable CAD. Press enter. And let's modify its value to zero, which is already set up by default. So we have customized and modified view registry and we have made some new keys and D words so this is how you can add some more customization to your Windows 11 experience and once you're done with the editing and customization of your registry editor then you can revert back to the previous settings and how you're going to do that click to the import and locate the location locate the file where you have saved the previous registry backup and once you import that you will find out that there will be no changes happen to your machine and if any changes happen 
So it will be go back and reward it once you import the backup file 